Hello, my dear children. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel, Sensei Lanka Online School. So once again, I'm here with a new video lesson for my English medium grade 7 geography students. So Pute, we are in unit number one, the planet Earth we live. So I have discussed a lot of other topics earlier. And if you want to look at my earlier lessons, please subscribe my channel and then ring the bell icon to get the notifications. Then you can refer my earlier videos also. So today, we are going to discuss part 8 in our lesson series. So what is the topic? Oceans in the world. We are going to discuss oceans in the world. So what do you know about this? You may think the topic is really easy. Yes, topic is easy. But inside this topic, there are many things for you to learn. What, what is an ocean? Definition. What are the examples for the oceans? How to mark them? by using color pencils and some world maps. How to mark them correctly? How to name them correctly? What kind of questions will be there based on this topic? So my dear children, the topic is easy, but you have to think about it again and again. There may be many questions in your examination papers based on the oceans in the world. So today, we are going to learn oceans in the world. Look at the picture. Blue color ocean. Remember the oceans? Do you have that experience? Have you ever gone to the ocean? Have you touched any ocean in the world? Oceans are different from the sea. Do you know the two words? Sometimes in English, we are using the two words as synonyms. Ocean and the sea. But pute in geography, ocean and the sea, they are not similar. They are having a small difference. We can learn it in my future video. So today it is about the oceans. Ah, look at this picture. It is an ocean. Look at the color of it. Blue color. Actually, it is having a greenish blue color. So, what is an ocean? What is an ocean? There are some definitions for you. So, dear children, look at my screen. You can see two definitions here. There are two definitions about oceans in my screen. So look at the green color one, the first definition. Shall we go through it? I will explain the meaning for you. The water masses located among continents are called oceans. The water masses located among continents are called oceans. Mahadvipa Atare Pihitala Tiena Vishala Vidyata Patirino Jala Pradesh. The water masses located among continents are called oceans. So now I think you know the continents because my earlier video lesson was based on it, continents in the world. So now do you remember how many continents are in the world? What is the largest continent? What is the smallest continent? Where are they? Can you remember? 
So between these continents, there are very big water bodies. These big water bodies are called oceans. So that definition is really easy and it is really simple for you. Then look at the second one. Look at the second one. It's a kind of a description. The black color one on the screen. The ocean is a continuous body of continuous body of salt water that covers more than 70% of Earth's surface. Oceans are a continuous body of salt water. Not just water. The water is salty. That covers more than 70% of Earth's surface. So now I think you understand what is an ocean. Because as the students of geography, you must know the definitions. If someone asks you what is an ocean, now you can give one of these two answers. So keep them in your memory. How many oceans are there in the world? Do you know the number? How many oceans are there in the world? Is that 7? Is that 10? Or is that 5? Can you tell me? How many oceans are there in the world? There are five oceans in the world. In our world, in our planet Earth, there are five oceans. <coughs> there are five oceans. They are, do you like to know their names? Sometimes, Pute, you may have known them. Danatama, Danava Tati. Mithana may video eka hagin in a godak dula putala. Oceans pahamono the killer Danatama Danava. But there may be some students who can't remember the five, who can't remember the names and the spellings of these five. So let's have a look at them. Pacific Ocean. First one, Pacific Ocean. Next, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Antarctic Ocean, it has another name, Southern Ocean, within brackets you can see, Southern Ocean, another name for Antarctic Ocean. Last one, Arctic Ocean, Arctic Ocean. So, these are the five oceans in the world. Today, the lesson is easy. So, now we are going to learn the oceans according to their size. According to the size. We are going to list out them according to their size. So, how can we understand their size? We have to think about the area in square kilometers. Varga sata kumbalin. Natta varga kilometer vali. Api me pradeshaya hoya gan no ne. Ita kota tamai api te yagi size seko hoya ne pahasu en. So pute all of you look at this table on my screen. There are three columns. First one the position. Second one, the name. Third one, area is given in square kilometers. When you look at the area, you can see the largest ocean. It is the Pacific Ocean. So, what is the largest ocean in the world? It is Pacific Ocean. What is the second largest ocean in the world? Atlantic Ocean. So, dear children, uh, you have to check your school textbook. I think there is a mistake in some versions. The mistake is not there in all the textbook. But Pute, please uh, look at that. Atlantic Ocean is the second largest ocean in the world. If it is wrong in your book, please correct it. 
because the indian ocean comes the third it has the third place according to the size then what is the fourth largest one southern ocean the fourth largest ocean is the southern ocean and the smallest one the smallest ocean is arctic ocean so now i think you understand the oceans according to the size pacific atlantic indian southern or antarctic last one arctic ocean so remember this table it will be useful for you in your term test monthly test or any other test related to geography then do you know the borders of oceans i think this lesson will be interesting for you if you look at this picture sometimes you will feel happy to see that image sometimes you will feel curious because this is a border of ocean but they see the border can we make a wall to separate the oceans can we make a fence to separate the oceans no we can't but the ocean it self makes a border look at the two colors look at the two different colors the waters of the two different oceans are having two different color if i put number 1 and if i put number 2 they are two oceans look at the color it gets the color according to that density of the water ganatwaya nisa eyage muhude tiyena watura wala ganatwaya nisa according to the density of the water they are not mixing together the water the two oceans meet each other but they are not mixed can you see this white color board it shows clearly that the water is not mixing with each other so this is the border of atlantic and pacific oceans one border of atlantic and pacific oceans see how interesting if you work hard if you study hard you can do a good job and you can earn a lot of money and then you can visit these areas okay so dear children let's go forward two oceans meet each other but they do not mix it's a famous saying it's a famous saying two oceans meet each other but they do not mix you can understand it when you look at this picture they can meet each other but they do not mix with each other yes then this is the border of indian and atlantic ocean can you see the colors of two oceans indian ocean and atlantic ocean you can see the border earlier one atlantic and pacific ocean look at the borders of them okay so my dear children this is a very small lesson for you so today my lesson was based on the oceans in the world my earlier lesson was about the continents in the world if you did not look at my earlier video please subscribe my channel sensei lanka online school don't forget to ring the bell icon and then by looking at the earlier lessons get ready for my future lessons next time i will meet you uh by explaining how to differentiate how to find the difference between the ocean and the sea and then i will teach what is the difference between continent and the islands these are the next two lessons that i hope to give you so stay with me thank you very much and bye for now